All right, here's one on me and my uncle. Uh, mostly known as being played by the Grateful Dead, but other people were involved, like uh, John Phillips from Mamas and Papas and Joni Mitchell helped them remember some of the things the next day, I think. I think Bobby and Jerry from the Grateful Dead were there at that party, too. So, here we go. We're going to start it with E minor. And then we're going to get to the verse. The verse is going to go G to E minor three times. So at the end of each progression, you have a couple bars of this E minor, so that's what we're starting with, is like the last two bars of the progression. Going to G. That's an A7 there. Was E minor to B7. There's that two bars of E minor again. So back to G. E minor. G. E minor. G. E minor. And then G to A. Could be an A or an A7. E minor. B7. So you want to play that along? Two, three, and we'll start with the G. Two, three, and. and basically, what you got is a bass chord, bass chord, chord, bass chord, that kind of thing. Three, four. Three times G to E minor. And then we got G to A or A7. minor to B7, E minor, once again, Thinking about the solo, and what's interesting is the G major pentatonic. The G major pentatonic is the same notes as the E minor pentatonic. So you really could be playing the looking at it either way, but when it's on a G chord, you want to be playing more of the G note. And when it's on the E minor chord, you want to play more of the E note. So here'd be a way I might get it started. Here's starting with the G. Now we're looking at an E minor, but then it goes to that B7, so you might think of the, the notes of the B7 arpeggio, so that would be like, we start on this B here, be two, and then one and four, two and four, and four, and then two and five, so that's a B7 arpeggio. So you're doing that G major pentatonic to E minor pentatonic kind of thing, but when you get to that B7, you kind of got to either hang on this B note that's part of the other scale, or if you want to get into the third of that B, that's what I like to do to get some get some tastefulness out of that without doing something just kind of basic. That's where you'd be like, say the, the E minor to B7 might be like. And you can end with just the E minor pentatonic because it has those two bars of E minor. So I'll take a little solo one more time. Three, four, it goes G. E minor. G. E minor. G. E minor. G. So 
that's a little chromatic riff I like to do. If you're going from G to A, you can include that note in between. Jerry, Gar the, Jerry Garcia did a whole lot of that. So if we see, um, getting down to the A7 arpeggio has these notes. So I was using... So that is part of the A7 chord, that note, that C sharp. And then you got your... Um, you got your E minor for two bars. All I did there was make it a flat fifth included in that E minor pentatonic. So let me start on this G bass note here and we'll go up the neck with that G major pentatonic. So three, four. So we see within that scale there's the E right there. Here's a G. I was just going to the E again and doing the E minor pentatonic notes. And I'll do G again. And those are notes that go with the A. There's an A note. And these notes are also in the A. basically like two chord progressions for verses and then you got a solo. G to A coming up. And then the very last verse, it's going to end with a little riff. One, two, three, and four. So it ends on the four there. So well, I like to do a little riff. I think this is basically what they were doing. It's like so. It's like one, and you want to end on the fourth beat. So it's like it's like one, two, one, two, one, two, four. So one more time again. Alright, so that's me and my uncle. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm Damon Wood. Please like and subscribe. See you soon. Thanks.